Um. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I'm here to tell you about a story about a good, good friend of mine. Her name was Mariah. And she was, she would have been 15 in January. And, um, she has a younger brother named Skylar. He's eight. And, um, Mariah was beaten as a child. Her father was a drunk, abusive person, and she was beaten a lot when she was younger. She was deformed because of this. Her face was pretty banged up. He shoved her into a stove, which left a bump here. Her nose cracked into the side, and her cheek was deformed. Because of this, every day she was bullied. People would call her names, point and laugh at her, call her a freak and horrible other things. Mariah, she, she dealt with it amazingly. I, I don't know how she did it, but she did. Every day she walked through those halls. She walked around town. She just, she lived her life and she didn't let any of that get to her. Even through all the bullying that people were doing, she did not let it get to her. She still worked, and she still got money for her and her brother. Luckily, her father left and stopped bullying and abusing her and her brother. And their mother was never really reliable. So, they were alone. Mariah had to care for Skylar. But the bullying got so bad, she had to drop out of school. She couldn't handle it anymore. And, um... Well, I had to move by then, so I wasn't there anymore. But, um, a couple days ago, I get a call from Skylar. And he tells me that after she dropped out of school, things didn't get better. That they were still bullying her. They were walking past her house, and every time they saw her in public, they still bullied her. And, um... One day, she went to the market to go buy her some food for her and her brother. And he says that it was about an hour and a half that she was gone and he was worried. So he went down to the market and around the corners to see where she was, you know. He saw an old lady there and his sister was lying down in the street. The old lady was in a really panic and he asked her what happened and she told him that um that a group of kids came up and um they started to beat her severely and horribly and they were yelling things and they just wouldn't stop. She says that she tried her best but she couldn't get them off. Mariah was lying in the street. She couldn't move. She was bleeding and her ribs were broken. Her brother had to carry her home. He's only eight. But he did. Um, that night Mariah died. And now Skylar's alone. And this is all because people thought it'd be fun to make fun of her. And thought that, you know, bullying her would make a difference. That it'd be some kind of worth and it it maybe make them feel better. I, I don't understand, to be completely honest. She never did anything wrong. She never called them names. She never did anything. She never even enforced it. And they said that she just walked off. She dropped out of school. <laughs> It got so bad, it didn't even get better. Anyways, please, just try to do something about bullying. If you see someone who needs help, try and help them any way that you can. I mean, anything. And the best way to do this is stop bullying yourself. Even if it's small ways, it still makes an impact. Anything you say 
can't hurt someone. Even though they play it off, it's still there. I'm not one to preach, but... I might be mean sometimes. Yeah, I get bad days. Everyone does. But I don't think I could ever bully someone that bad that they want to kill themselves. Or that I ever want to beat someone up so bad that they die. Who does that? Who? I'm sorry. Please spread around her story. Spread around anyone's story. Just stop bullying. Any ways that you can help. If you see someone getting cyberbullied, okay, here's the thing. If you are getting cyberbullied, especially on Facebook, delete your account. Block those people. Simple things can stop it. It might not stop it forever, but just anything, I don't know. Did Mariah have to die? She lost her life and it ruined her brothers. He is eight. How is he supposed to get a job? How is he supposed to pay for his meals? Think about it. What is he going to do? Just, sorry. I'll type her story in the bottom I wrote about it. Just at least pass along the story. She was an amazing person and she did not deserve to die like this. But she at least won her story to ground as an example of what it can do. I've heard about Amanda Todd. I've heard about everyone killing themselves. That is horrible as well. And those people just have to live with that for the rest of their lives. But sometimes bullying can get so bad that it kills them, literally, and it's wrong. I just, I hope it stops. And we gotta be the change that we wanna see. We really do. Anyways, I shared this video. I don't know anything. Make up your own. Do your own video of this. Take the story that I give down there and... Tell the story. Tell someone's story you know. Help bullying stop. Thanks.